Half a day Guam, Guam C. Colleen St. Nicholas Perez of Joint Region Mariana's Public Affairs Office. And with me today is my colleague, MC2 Gabrielle Blake. We're here at the UOG Triton Farm in the village of Jigo. And with us is our very special guest, Dr. Mori. Hi. Dr. King, tell us a little bit about uh, the UOG Farm and what its mission is. Uh, this farm was originally uh, funded by USDA uh, Research and Outreach Program jointly with the Virgin Island um, that university and we try to develop uh, Pacific Islanders the small farm for Pacific Islanders with a less than five acres and they started in uh, 2001 and now we have um, developed a different way uh, three components we have is an animal plants and a fish and there was an integrated farm system so we have a lot of um, different plants and a different operation practices. So the students, farmers, or anyone can come and learn about. And also I regenerate some kind of question, research question that we can solve afterwards. So we are trying to find out what is the problems and what we can offer to the community of Guam in terms of the farming system in Guam. What are some of these questions that, you, that you're asking to find out? Find out uh, what is it the cost effective and most profitable um, uh, the uh, commodities we have, and uh, because this island is so limited and this land is really um, shallow soil, we have a lot of problem with the leaching and the nitrogen, especially. And uh, since we have uh, incorporated three components, how are we going to manage the labor? Is this, is and how are you going to put the, someone to work on the certain? parts of the operation. Okay. And we get to feed the chicken later on today, you told us. <laughs> you can or you can just feed the fish. It was more fun because they can okay. jump on you. <laughs> oh, that's a, this is a rose beetle. Oh my gosh. And we just find some, an entomology um, class, that, uh, they came on Saturday and they collected a lot of insect and they're studying that too. These are a plant called the calamansi. The locally, um, they use for the finadini, and uh, when it's ripe, they use a lemonade. And, uh, I planted it along this field. And then they don't know about that. This is a relative of hibiscus, but it's hibiscus. Same, same family. And the cotton is on top, you see it? And inside there are the seeds. Uh, sweet potatoes, just a collection. And this one is star fruits. Calambola. This is a Jatropha circus. This is a we. I, uh, this is a collection I got from um, actually Hawaii, and um, the the nuts and the seeds is for uh, biodiesel. Okay. Biodiesel project, biofuel. Oh, but you have to pick it. <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> if I die, you just eat the whole thing? Yeah. Wait, I think you're supposed to cook it first. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's the one I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I mean, you can eat it if you want. But... I guess you really want to hear it. Goes. It tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good. I'll just hold it for later. <laughs> it's not gum. Acerola, Barbedo cherry, it's high in the vitamin C. It's how I think. This, try this one. Yeah, that one looks better. I'll try that one. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. To the aqu aquaponics. Aquaponics okay. is aquaculture and um, hydroponics combined. So it's a uh, fish and plants okay. together. Oh, 
Lettuce and it's supposed to be heat tolerant, definitely. And so, some of the even name this is the tropic, Tropicana, you can tell that you know, tropics. There's a lot of volunteers who come out and spend some time to assist, to assist you and the staff. It's a, do you guys rely a lot on the on the volunteers? Well, I wish that we had more, okay. but uh, we don't. That's okay. I'm vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> We use a lot of uh, recycling material, including the office uh, shredded paper from EOG. This is designed by a student. Really? Yeah. One thing that you that you hope that uh, you know our viewers can take away from this you know this visit, what would that be? What do you hope that they they learn or they know about um, the farm? I like for the viewers to know this. The farming is exists on Guam. A lot of people don't know we do agriculture. There is a few, very really minority on Guam, and I want to make it just kind of symbolic for that. It's not really a commercial farmer. But it can be done, and there is a lot of friends, farmers, who are there to do it, producing good uh, fresh local food for us. If you have a volunteers, um, we would like to be very welcome to this farm, EOG Tracking Farm, and then contact the uh, um, Bob Nelson 688-6979 or myself 735-2131. And uh, really, we like to work together, and then enjoy that uh, gardening or other any other aspect of the farming on Guam. That Thank sounds you. great. So Petty Officer Blake, are you going to be up for the challenge? You're going to see you and your sailors out here volunteering? I would definitely come out and volunteer. I know a lot of my friends from the ship and the base would love to come and volunteer. So All right. we definitely Thank you. can do that. Thank you very much. So we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Until next time, Guam. Adios. Mm -hmm.